Some emergency room doctors worry the state's ER system is at risk of total collapse. They filed a class action lawsuit against the state claiming the Medi-Cal system has not kept pace with the cost and demand for care. Susan Hirasuna joins us from Englewood with the tale. Susan? Carlos, that's right. You know, demand keeps going up, and uh, you would know that if you've ever been to an emergency room and waited hours for care. Now, what the doctors are saying is that despite that demand going up, their payments have stayed pretty much the same, and that has left us with a broken system. The class action lawsuit alleges the state's payment for Medi-Cal patients in the emergency room has stayed fairly stagnant, while the cost of providing that care has nearly doubled. The cost of providing care has shifted from the state to the providers because the payment to cover the cost of care doesn't cover the cost of care. The suit alleges ER doctors have subsidized California with more than $100 million in services. But the problem doesn't stop with the doctors paid to stabilize ER patients. The next tier of doctors, specialists like orthopedists, hand surgeons, and neurosurgeons, are opting out of on-call emergency service. So finding a specialist may take hours or days, not minutes when time is of the essence. Case in point, an 11-year-old patient of Dr. Weiss's, whose hand was damaged in an accident accidental shooting. Finding a hand surgeon took seven and a half hours. Lost three fingers. Now I can't promise that the hand surgeon would have saved those three fingers, but they would have had a much better chance uh, uh, with emergent and early intervention by the hand surgeon. Dr. Weiss warns that without a cure for the ER's ailments, everyone will feel the pain and it manifests in second-rate emergency treatment. We will see more hospital closures, that we will see more emergency department closures, that patients will have increasingly difficult times to provide to, pro to find both emergency and non-emergent care. And these are the numbers that Dr. Weiss gave me. He says that in the last 10 years, 80 hospitals have shut down. More than 55 emergency rooms have closed. So he sees, if this trend continues, that there will be fewer hospitals serving a growing population. Reporting live in Inglewood, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.